Test, test. No, it's not on. Is it down here? It's right here. Yeah. Try it now. Test. There, you go. there we go. Good morning. If I can have your attention, we'd like to get started. Welcome. My name is Sandy Brewer. I'm the Parks Director for Washington County. Alongside me, or right behind me, is Steve Sullivan, who's the Parks Director for Dakota County. We're very excited that you could be here today and to join us, and we've been avoiding the R word, and we hope it holds off so that we all don't get wet. So nobody say the word. That's our theory this morning. Construction on the 2.5 mile trail occurred in 2016. The trail runs along the south side of Highway 10 starting at Point Douglas Park. Construction of the Point Douglas Regional Trail Bridge was completed and opened to the public earlier this summer. I see I have to time my comments, as do all of you who follow me. The trail provides scenic views of the Mississippi River and links three cities, three counties, and two states. We have several groups to thank in this endeavor, and here today we have our elected officials to do so. We will have commissioner from Washington County, Dakota County, state legislator, and the Hastings mayor to thank all of our partners. With that, I turn it over to Washington County's commissioner, Jack LaVolt. Thank you, Sandy. I'm Jack Lavold, as Sandy said, and I'm a, uh, a commissioner from District 4, uh, which is this district right up the road uh, for Washington County. And uh, I bring you greetings from uh, my fellow commissioner, Stan Kowalski, and uh, the other commissioners on the uh, county board. Today, you're going to be joined uh, at, in. Uh, <clears throat> this project uh, did not happen overnight. By the way, my computer totally froze up last night, so I didn't get my notes till this morning. So I'm on my way to the Apple Store in Woodbury, uh, leaving here with my computer. To, my tech service reps couldn't take care of it, my two grandkids. Um, You know, this project started about 20 years ago, and it started uh, with really with a, uh, a lot of people getting together from the outside, putting pressure on to get this project done. It happens to be a little better success than I had on my project about 40 or 45 years ago when they abandoned the rail bed from Prescott north up to the uh, Highway uh, 94. And uh, royally got shot down on that by the same body that I now represent, <laughs> the Washington <laughs> County Board of Commissioners. Uh, but, you know, we don't, we don't win them all. And I want to really congratulate those citizens, those bikers, those hikers, those whatever you happen to be, for the tenacity 
to get these things done. And uh, I think that becomes a whole key to what is a county. Um, as has been said, uh, you know, this really went into high gear about 2012. And, it, and then it went, uh, the construction was done in 16 and 17. And because I happened to go to Dakota County for breakfast at least once a week, I sat right down here on that deck outside the American Legion Club and then I watched the boat, the, the locks open up here and watched the boats come up and down. So I'm well acquainted uh, with this bridge being built and duly inspected it on behalf of the county commissioners uh, yeah, uh, uh, as I drove by uh, that way and that way a couple of times a week. Uh, this project uh, has gone very well as far as we on this, our, our staff is concerned. Uh, the cooperation and coordination with the landowners, the businesses, and their patients that were put up uh, during this construction. I want to say today, give a special thanks to the uh, uh, Great Rivers Confluence Group for their pressure that they, uh, they kept on this the whole time. And the National Park Service Rivers and Trails Conservation Committee, both of whom have representatives here today. Uh, you helped us realize this vision, advocate for this project, and the perseverance that you have is just fantastic. And uh, when I leave this position, uh, I will be back on and uh, working for the, the betterment of the outdoor activities in, uh, in the county. Um, Washington County is a growing county with an increase demand for safety multi-uses trails and communities in our communities consistent consistently our residents have demonstrated the important roles that trails play in the quality of life um, this project is just one way we build a trail system to connect our communities to local regional amenities and those of us from the coming south sort of take a right on the other side of the bridge and go over to your little park down here and, and puff up and uh, so we can take the hill back to Cottage Grove. Uh, the Point Douglas Trail is a regional destination. It'll attract countless bikers and I can attest to that already from sitting down here at from 8 to 10 o'clock uh, in the morning on the Legion uh, uh, deck. Uh, and you see people there all the time. Um, it'll help Washington County to become a great place to live, work, and play today and tomorrow. I would like uh, to invite the Commissioner Slavic to uh, say a few words. Thank you very much, Commissioner Lavold. Uh, good morning. My name is Mike Slavic. I am a uh, Dakota County Commissioner representing District 1, which includes uh, the City of Hastings. It's my pleasure to be here today representing the Dakota County Board of Commissioners as we celebrate the opening of this important bridge. Completing the Point Douglas Trail took a lot of work by many dedicated individuals over a number of years, and the opening of this bridge represents the completion of a great project. As your neighbor, we in Dakota County are thrilled with this project because it is truly a bridge to even more recreational opportunities for bikers, walkers, runners, and others. This bridge offers area residents and visitors a safe way to access miles and miles of paved recreational trails in Hastings and Dakota County. This is a bridge to more outdoor recreational opportunities. These miles of continuous trails also connect our residents to places they want to go, including parks, schools, libraries, and other community places. Our greenways protect open space and high quality natural resources. They contribute to the quality of our lives. 
Of course, we're really excited about the ability for bikes, bicyclists and other trail users to, dis to explore Dakota County's large and growing greenway system. From Hastings, you can hop onto the Mississippi River uh, Trail, which leads along the river and leads you into Spring Lake Park Reserve, um, which is, uh, we just opened up 4.7 miles of a stretch last year, and it's been a popular addition to our trail system. From Levy Park in downtown Hastings, uh, you can continue on the Spring Lake Park Reserve Trailhead for a total of about 10 miles. Eventually, the Mississippi River Regional Trail will run 29 miles all the way from the city of Hastings to St. Paul, taking in scenic views of the river at many points along the way. Our vision for the Mississippi River Regional Trail has been to develop a trail for everyone, people of varying abilities and interests, to enjoy breathtaking scenery and river views year-round. We're excited that the completion of the Point Douglas Trail Bridge will make that experience possible for even many more visitors. Thank you again for all the work that's been done on this very important project. And with that, I'd like to invite State Senator Carla Bigham to say a few words. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm State Senator Carla Bigham, and I have the honor of uh, representing both Washington and Dakota County, and uh, I'm a former Washington County Commissioner uh, for the area. So I'm um, pleased to be here. This is such a wonderful project, and I also want to acknowledge uh, State Representative Tony Jurgens, uh, who's here with us today to, for the celebration. Um, you know, the East Metro is a hub of recreational amenities. Whether it's uh, boaters, anglers, bird watchers, hunters, bikers, hikers, we got something for everyone here. So um, to the east, we obviously have uh, the Mississippi River. Uh, to the south, or to the east, we have the St. Croix River. To the south, we have the Mississippi River. Uh, we have city parks, county parks, state parks, uh, and we also have the Mississippi River Trail. So, um, you know, these are, are fantastic options for our residents, our businesses, and our communities. Um, and this is the newest addition to the uh, Washington County uh, Point Douglas Regional Trail. We also, with this bridge, are connecting two states within Minnesota and Wisconsin, three counties, Washington, Dakota, and Pierce, and three communities, uh, Denmark Township, Hastings, and Prescott. So um, one thing that we, uh, we have to acknowledge is all of the partnerships and the project partners. Um, and the railroad actually is one of them. So, uh, so with that, I'd like to thank BNSF because they were a major property uh, uh, owner here and uh, that's never easy to negotiate with. So um, I want to thank the Washington County staff uh, led by uh, Molly O'Rourke, uh, Wayne Sandberg, uh, Frank, Sharon, um, Corey, Colin, all of you guys that worked on this project so so much. Uh, that's fantastic. We have the Met Council, South Washington County Watershed, MnDOT, um, as I said, uh, Burlington Northern, uh, Great Rivers Confluence Group, National uh, Park Service. We have the communities again of Prescott, Hastings, and Denmark Township, Dakota County, Washington County, but also all the community members uh, who provided their input and feedback. We have businesses here today uh, that uh, are in the area that are seeing the celebration. We have residents and nearby property owners uh, that are here today, and we also have community members that are just very, very excited about this amenity. Um, the, let's talk a little bit about uh, funding because these things aren't, aren't free, right? And so uh, the Minnesota legislature appropriated $1.6 million for construction in 2015. I would like to thank former State Senator Katie Sieben and former State Representative Denny McNamara for um, working through that process. Uh, also, $1 million came from county funds. I'd like to thank the Washington County Board uh, for their support on that. Uh, the, the state funding actually came through uh, the state bonding and the land and water legacy amendment. And so um, uh, it's vital that we support our regional park system by following through on our commitment, which is the state commitment to maintain and expand our thriving parks and trails. Um, with that, I want to uh, introduce a fantastic man, a fantastic mayor, and what a legacy project, sir, uh, Hastings Mayor Paul Hicks. Well, what a great day this is today, is it not? This is fantastic. I, uh, you know, I can't believe we're here doing this because I remember talking about this for a long time. I see a lot of friendly faces in the crowd, spending a lot of hours at the legislature when we were uh, testifying up at the uh, legislature to get this bill and the bonding bill back in 2015. 
And uh, Senator, thank you for acknowledging a lot of folks. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, State Representative Alice Hausman, who was a chair of that committee at the time and uh, is a good friend of mine. And, uh, and she told me early on how supportive she was of this project. And uh, she certainly stuck to her guns there and with the work with Representative uh, McNamara, and I think it was a good uh, example of bipartisanship and, and good projects, and we, we saw that come through. You know, in the city of Hastings, trails are very important, as you can tell. If you go into my uh, great city, uh, you see the trails along the Mississippi River and now links with uh, Commissioner Slavich's work and, and Dakota County Commissioners overall, Dakota County staff. What a great trail system going all the way up to South St. Paul, which is nearly going to get complete soon. And my vision is, is that we all here we love trails. We continue this work because this trail ought to continue down to Red Wing and hit the Cannon Valley Trail along the whole Mississippi River. And so we're in the city of Hastings, and I know Dakota County is committed to that effort. We have friends along at Goodhue that's committed to that effort. In the city of Hastings, we have uh, over about 30 miles of trails in the city of Hastings. And we've just completed within the last couple of years the 10 mile loop. You can go all the way around without being interrupted in the city of Hastings on a trail. And uh, we consider this bridge a gem as part of our biking and trail system in the city of Hastings. We're so proud of the elected officials who've had the vision to make this happen. But let me tell you, the day-to-day, -day, Washington County staff, Dakota County staff, thank you. Thank you. You guys helped make, the, and women, help make this happen. And uh, I'll never forget that. And I know most of us folks will not forget that. Thank you for your efforts. Uh, so, you know, I, uh, during my State of the City address, I was talking about the importance of trails in the city of Hastings, and I can't remember the author, but I did say that uh, someone did, once said, you know, when I see adults on a bicycle, my renewed and human spirit is, is sustained. <laughs> and now I know what they mean. When I come down Highway 61 every day, I see bicyclists and walkers on this trail every day. And uh, as Commissioner Slavik had mentioned about the importance of a quality of life. This is what it's about. And the partnerships. I have many friends now in Washington County I didn't know before this project. And so as we continue to work together, the city of Hastings is going to be a, continue to be a partner in trails. We believe in it. So when we go south along Highway uh, 61 and we continue to the St. Croix Trail in Washington County in the years ahead, the city of Hastings has your back. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. On behalf of Washington County, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out today. I would encourage you to stay, to mingle, to visit, and to walk the trail or in the future bring your bike and bike. I found out this morning that our new bike fix-it station down at the park comes in handy when you show up with a wheel that needs air in it. So um, really, thank you for coming out today. Um, we appreciate it. Have a great day. <laughs>